Greetings all, Vanna here for Pisces' weekly message. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I will include you. And yes. So the first two cards that I want to bring up to you, my love, are the world and the queen of pentacles. She demanded to be... I see why she demanded to be seen. She holds more substance. Oh my god, I love that. I love that so much because not only do you Pisces have the world and the Wheel of Fortune. Hold on, let me cover up her naughty bits. The world and the Wheel of Fortune, which are two of the best cards to get in regards to anything to do with abundance, finances, ambition, anything that you're dreaming of working on. It's not just turning in your favor, but the world will recognize. The world is coming in to support you. Right now, it does revolve around you. You have what was hiding underneath the Queen of Pentacles was the reverse Nine of Swords, or the Nine of uh, Pentacles. The doubt that your work has been worth it. Normally, you are looking over your great bushes, noting and acknowledging all the wonderful work that you have done to achieve this monumentous task. It is not easy to grow grapes. And that is why the reward and acknowledgement of what you have done is so incredible. <clears throat> you do not give yourself that credit, though. Eight of Swords. You don't give yourself that credit because it has not yet actualized in the physical world. But I am here presenting you with the queen of stability, fulfillment, and accomplishment. It has actualized in every step but the physical. And so, that's, that's not to be like a point of frustration, but like, Vanna, let it just get here. Believe me, love, if I could pull the lever crunk and just flow your blessings towards you, I would. But I am not spirit. There's clearly a reason that it has not come in the way that it should for you. Doesn't mean that it's not coming. It's very clearly coming. The rewards, the accolades, the success for what you have worked on. Again and again and again. Because I'm looking at the world card and she's holding batons in her hand. I was in baton classes when I was little. I honestly don't remember joining them. But it was just something that I did at some point. And I would go to it. And I know how hard it is to balance those batons. You have to have constant finger motion. Removing one and replacing another in that spot to continuously spin it. It is difficult to do. You have done something that is difficult to do. Give yourself credit for that. While no one else has given it any acknowledgement, give yourself that credit. So when you do get that initial rejection, which of course there's always going to be a rejection at first, it's not going to smack you down because you will know what you have done is good enough. Not everyone is going to see the beauty in your work. Not everyone will see the sense in your work, but there will be some who will, and they will not just adore it, but be in awe of everything that you have done and acknowledge how beautiful it is. You will get the acknowledgement. You will get the those rewards. I don't want it to be stringent on someone outside of yourself, though, my love. It means the most coming from you. And that is why we are our harshest critics. We are the ones that will tell us it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. But it is. You are. So please, stop being so mean to yourself, my love. It's fine if it got messed up. This is the last one of the day. It has been a hard day trying to do these. Yes! Yes! Look at this incident of metamorphosis. Music going on in my head. You truly initiated this. And... It is coming. Starting to peek out from the chrysalis is one of the strangest because your eyes are blurry and you're all goopy and you have to clean up and clean off and shake those wings. But, oh, you are going to be a beautiful sight. When, when you step up and step out into your shine, you are going to be so gorgeous. 
clean house so you are only bringing along things with you that truly make you happy that truly uplift you not out of sentiment not out of obligation not out of anxiety do you truly need it will you use it and does it make you happy those should be the qualifications you have dragon's lair in reverse you are freeing yourself from a place of imprisonment and confinement where you were always watched where you were always lied to it was not home it was not protective it was not what it was supposed to be though everyone wanted to make it that way you have been a very gentle gardener watching over these eggs ensuring that they did not go uncared for they were rotated they were covered they were loved they were kept warm they were kept dry you ensured that this dream did not die while it has been a struggle you have always had it in your heart and now it is actualizing now it is freeing itself from this solitude from this isolation inside your mind making a choice at the bottom of the deck and i feel like pisces made their choice a long time ago that they were going to focus on their happiness and no one else's and i'm so very proud of you there will always be more choices to make as we move forward to let go of things that we held on to even in this next phase because you are not done this person that is sitting here is not going to be the one sitting in a similar place next year because you have so much growing to do you are an incomplete masterpiece and i can't wait to see everything that you become my love have a beautiful day pisces